Two officers with the Delaware River Port Authority are on paid leave tonight after they fired their guns at a South Jersey teenager on the Walt Whitman Bridge. Police say it happened after the teen crashed a stolen school bus and then confronted the officers with a knife. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is in Camden at the DRPA Police Headquarters for the very latest on the investigation. Part of the Walt Whitman Bridge was blocked off for several hours this morning after a high-speed police chase ended with this stolen school bus crashing. It created problems for commuters this morning. Investigators say a 17-year-old suspect was behind the wheel of the bus. He somehow got into the bus at a dealership called H.A. DeHart & Sons in West Deptford Township early this morning and drove it off the lot. A nearby officer saw the bus driving erratically and initially pulled it over, or so the officer thought. My officer went to make contact with the driver as he was getting out of the vehicle. The bus drove away, uh, continued at high rates of speed, driving erratically on 295 northbound. Police say the teen driver was traveling at least 80 miles per hour, so West Deptford police stopped their pursuit. Moments later, the $60,000 bus sped onto the Walt Whitman Bridge and slammed into a guardrail. That's when the teen, wearing a mask, got out of the bus while wielding a knife. He was holding the knife. He walked towards the officers. They uh, backed up. He, they issued commands for him to stop, and he suddenly charged, at which point the officers discharged their weapons. John Hansen with the Delaware River Port Authority says Philadelphia police are now investigating the officer-involved shooting while two of his officers are on paid leave. The officers discharged the weapon in order to prevent themselves from being attacked by an individual with a knife. And authorities wouldn't release the names of those two officers or that 17-year-old suspect, but that teenage boy is over at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia in stable condition. He's expected to face serious charges. In Camden, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.